everybody it's fat frog and today i thought in this episode of the arc we'd go ahead and tame a dung beetle or two or three and to do so we're going to need some poop so we're going to get some by putting some stem berries in our fiomia here and force feeding and then now we're going to have seven let's get a few more so let's feed this guy our old friend brick here some more there we go let's see okay we can pick up some more so that should be plenty so we're going to get some dung beetles we're going to build a little pen for them and then we're going to get build this little pen over here by our greenhouse so we can get fertilizer and we can grow some more crops because most of our crops died um, because they just ran out of fertilizer. So we're going to go get some. You can get uh, dung beetles out in the desert, some of the caves, but my favorite place is to go to the lava, or not the lava, but the volcano. There's quite a few that live on the side of there. So that's what we're going to do. We've got everything we need, and it's a little ways, so we will be right back. Okay, so we made it over to the volcanic area, and what is this called exactly? This is the Volcano Tippy Top, and if you're curious about where we are, let me pull up the map and the GPS. So we are at 20.4 degrees latitude and 62.5 degrees longitude, and we're way up there on the Ragnarok map. So let's put that stuff away. So I wanted to find a spot where there's at least two dung beetles so we can tame multiples. So I see three at least here. And then we're going to have to clear up some of these nasties real quick. And so these guys are a passive tame. Oh, there's four. Um, they're a passive tame. And so that's why I've got the ghillie suit. I'm just going to go all the way over here actually and take care take care of these guys. This is a tough one. Come on. Go down. Ooh. That's going to be a high level. Yeah, 140. Got to tame one of those Arthropleura one of these days. Okay, so I think that is all the nasty little critters. And so we kind of want to tame, let's get rid of this guy. Low level ones just because they'll be easier to tame. It's not going to matter too much what, you know, that they're a high level or not. I'm also going to fire up some bug repellent here. That'll help keep me less noticeable by the other creatures. So it's a passive tame, so we're going to need to take our feces and put it here in our number zero slot. And then we're going to need to sneak up on those. So these things don't aggro so much. Here's a level 95. So we're about halfway done already. And then we're going to have to put another one on here. So I've got, I guess I only have two cryopods. Forgot I had the Giga in the one. This guy will probably insta tame. There we go. So, poop number one here. So let's cryopod this dude right away. All right, that'll be easy enough. You pick up dung beetles with um, many of the flyers. I don't think you can with the Pteranodon, but you can with Argentavis and all that kind of stuff. And of course the Wyvern that we brought along, we can pick him up there. Uh, let's put that away. So this is a level 20. It should instant tame too. So my taming speeds here are 5x. So it's going to be pretty quick. So this will be poop too. Um, let's unfollow these guys. So we're only going to be able to do three, but it's not. It's not going to be bad. Is this the one that we started already? Yeah. Let's see if you're ready to eat some more poop. You ready? Now, what do we got up here for a level? This dude's just chilling out. That's also a 95, so we'll just grab this guy. I think the only benefit to taming a higher level one is they typically are going to have more weight available, so you can put more uh, poop in their inventory. And then, yeah, I don't know, they just need to need a little less maintenance that way, but that's not not that important okay so that guy's cooking up we'll cryopod this one right away while he's still waiting 
poop two, so we're gonna have poop three. So the gender is not available. I haven't tried um, breeding um, invertebrates yet. I know that's kind of a new thing uh, in ARC. I don't know if you can breed dung beetles if it's all invertebrates or what. So that'll be interesting to see if that happens. The dung beetles never laid eggs before, so I'm guessing we can't. Whereas, like, uh, I think Arthropleura, praying man uh, the mantises, the moth, and scorpions, and that sort of thing, those things always laid eggs before, so I'm assuming that uh, we could breed those if we wanted to. Come on, buddy. Um... Yeah, so we're going to have to give that one a, a try one of these days. But today is all about the dung beetle and getting fertilizer. So come on, buddy. Let's get a little bit more here. It's pretty hot on the side of the volcano usually. So you're probably not going to want to wear flak armor. Um, come on. And dung beetles look pretty cool, by the way. They do aggro sometimes, but not usually. I don't really understand their mechanics that much. I should really be watching out. There's a snake over by by my wyvern over there. I'm a little too close. It's one thing about having too much speed built up is sometimes it makes these passive teams a little more difficult. But I'm looking forward to getting this. Kind of nice to have like a little... Oh, here we go. All right. We got poop three ready to go. Um... What did I do that for? Poop. My fingers are not working this morning. Okay. So we got poop three, and we're going to unfollow you. We don't have the proper thing for you, so we will just grab poop three with the wyvern, provided we can see where it went. Where the heck did it go? Oh, there it is. All right. So we're going to have to, these things have horrible turning races, radiuses, so we're going to have to zip around. I see you now, don't I? There you are. All right, we got it. So we're going to zip back to base, uh, back to our greenhouse, build a little area. And once again, we will be right back. All right, we have arrived back at the greenhouse. Let's just drop this dude off real quick and find a good place to land and then we're going to build just a little area for this guy okay we're still steaming with the bugs now if i recall correctly we're going to need to let's put some feces in there um, and we've got a couple points to add so we'll add those into weight and i think we have to put them uh enable wandering in order for this guy to actually produce the fertilizer and they also produce oil um, but we'll just see since it's been a while they do eat spoiled meat I don't know if we have any spoiled meat let's um, let's check our guys here okay here's six and we'll give him some spoiled meat to eat all right so let's head in here we built up some some foundations here actually let's head out this way we'll smash this and then let's pick this these bushes here and get these guys out of the way so we have a nice clean spot to build our little area so I think I'm going to do kind of an extension of the greenhouse I think that might be nice why did that break that's weird Okay, so we're going to do it this way. So we're using the S plus mod. And how many more foundations do I have? I've got five foundations. Hmm. I think I am actually just going to extend this out all the way. They don't, or they're not going to require a huge area um, to be in. Now do I want to put railings? I think we're just going to do some railings. I think that'll be nice. Oh, that's a problem. That Rex is going to be a problem. Go away, Rexy. Go away. 
You are not welcome here. Down it goes. I guess the uh, auto turrets got the kill there. All right. Back to work. So here's the greenhouse, and we need lots of fertilizer to get that going. Um, yeah, let's do some railings. So we're going to need some foundations first. Let's see if we have those learned. No, we're going to have to learn that stuff. So those are called fence foundations, right? F wooden fence foundations. So we're going to do the S plus stuff. And... So we need the foundation, and then, of course, they're not called fences, they're called rails, right? Yeah, uh, and we're going to do wooden railings. That's good. Actually, I don't think we need to do foundations. Um, let's build some railings, then. I like the wood. Can't remember how many we're going to need. Let's just build ten. We can always use them for something else in the future. We'll put our foundations there. I think we want to do... We're going to need at least one ramp. We'll do a stone ramp. So we'll have that ready to go. And let's just see if these railings work. Put those in the number four slot. Okay. And we can put our gun away. Yeah, we don't need to. We don't need to build the foundations when they're on a foundation. Ooh, it's getting to be dark. All right, let's go over here and grab some more foundations. And they're not building very fast, but that's okay. Oop, don't need to go that way. All right, and I don't think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna build all the way out. It's kind of ridiculous. I think that's gonna be good. And then let's build. Some sort of doorway here. Door. We're going to do the S plus door. We'll do stone and that. I can't remember if we can build like a half one or not. That'll be interesting. See if we can build like a half doorway. I know you can build like a half wall with the S plus mod. Okay, so let's put this out here. And then we'll do this guy. And let me see if we have structure variant. Switch to wood, switch to adobe. I don't know. It looks kind of weird like that, but it's very practical. Let's get rid of our... I don't say get rid of, but let's put our guys down. There's one. And the other one. Let's give these guys some poop. So I think, all right, so that guy can only hold three. And I put some berries in there, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Oh, you've got four levels already. That's awesome. So with that weight, can we get another one in there? Oh, we can get more. Yeah, so a lot less maintenance. So, I mean, it would be helpful to get, like, a higher level one. Um, but it's also kind of a pain. Not real necessary. Okay. All right, so these guys are loaded up with poop now. Let's go grab our other guy. Grab him. Handy that you can pick these dudes up. And you didn't produce any fertilizer yet, so I don't know if that's an actual thing, but I'm pretty sure. We'll just run an experiment. So we're going to enable wandering on this one. And enable wandering. The other thing I'm curious to see is if they can climb out um, one of these rails. I think I might have to put up another one, but we'll find out soon enough. All right. So I think what we're going to do now is we're just going to go ahead and wait a few minutes or however long it takes to actually produce some of this fertilizer and then we'll be back. All right, so it didn't take too long and we do have some fertilizer. So the first fertilizer produced was two bags here and then also two oil. So that's pretty handy if uh, you don't have oil nearby. Uh, I also changed all these guys were set on attack my target. I changed them to passive flea. So hopefully... 
Um, they're less likely to cause damage. I put in a ramp on either side and I got rid of those funny looking doors because you can just hop the fence here. So these guys have been wandering around. So you've got fertilizer, you've got fertilizer, and you have not produced any. So what's happening? Oh, Palmascorpius attack. So here they are, they're passively fleeing, which is exactly what they're supposed to do. They're scared, poor little guys. Okay, so we're going to enable wandering on this guy. And then now he'll start to produce. Well, hello, wait. Okay, so hop the fence over here. Are you guys all right? Good. All right, so we are in the fertilizer business. So this works pretty well. Oh, let me just hop this again. Okay, finally. Uh, this works really well for vanilla. You know, if you have these guys at your base you can you know just kind of let them run uh, collect some poop and give them some poop if you have an s plus like I do the s plus mod uh, there's a couple of things that we can do to make things a little easier for us um, and make it maybe too easy so we're gonna build the s plus collector which is this dude uh, it takes quite a bit of cementing paste 125 hide 75 metal 250 so and then we're also going to make the farmer. And then what's the farmer? It was also 250 cementic paste, 100 hide, 100 metal, and 100 pelt. So kind of expensive to make, but um, also kind of worth it at the same time. So let's go back here. We got to pick up our collector. So let's grab our collector friend, and we're going to set him back here looks kind of funky we'll take a look at him here we're just gonna set him over here watching over everything uh, so there he is he's looking rather uh, rather toxic and let's uh, access his inventory here and so we can have him collect poop and oops we're not in his inventory we're in the light inventory there we go that's much better so we can uh, Turn him on, activate him, and he should be collecting stuff. So let's check out his options. Uh, we can give him a name too, and then this is what a uh, toxic, toxic man. I'm afraid to spend spell masculinity right now, but uh, okay. So let's uh, let's see. Stop distributing pups, poop, pups. So what he should do actually is he should pick up poop like from these dire bears and stuff that are over here this wandering bronto and then distribute it to the uh the dung beetles over there so i think i distribute two poop between beetles and bins so it would also work in compost bins so let's click on that and then we have collection options and we want to do small poop medium poop poop large poop well we'll just pick up everything there's going to be no massive poop around here you'd also pick up eggs which we can have them do that um, snail paste uh, pearls owl pellets depending upon what we got and what else do we want we'll have them pick up the oil we don't have any I don't think we have anything that produces any of this stuff but what the heck uh, just in case we ever do we'll uh we'll be able to pick this up okay so that's all done and then so he should start picking stuff up let me just see if it's working it seems to work like in like in batches so let's just dump this poop over here and we'll leave that there and while that's being picked up we're going to take our farmer and we'll put him we'll put him on the other side over here and so this is going to be Farmer Bill. Can we name him? Uh, let's see. Can we change his name? Rename Farmer. This is going to be Farmer Bill. Farmer Bill. Uh, there he goes. So Farmer Bill should pick up the fertilizer, right? If I remember right. Let's see. So he should pick up the fertilizer and then he should distribute it. And if he doesn't dis pick it up, then he, we can put it in his inventory it's not that big of a deal um, so 
access his inventory. We do need to turn him on though. And he gets turned on with kaolin soup, but right now he's got no fertilizer to pick up. Alright, collection options. So he doesn't pick up fertilizer, does he? No. So we've got to... So he's picked up the poop. Okay, yep, he picked up the poop. And he distributed all that he could. So that's very handy. Okay, I missed. Why can't I hop over here? Come on. Maybe I should put the door back. Alright, so you're still making... There we go. I picked up your fertilizer. Where'd your fertilizer go? Oh, so he must have picked it up. Did he distribute it, though? That's the question. Uh, I don't think so. I haven't used it for a little while. Huh. So I picked up some fertilizer earlier. So let's put this in this guy. And he's going to run on kaolin soup. We don't really want the turd in there. Maybe he does. He might distribute turds too. So let's just check that out. It's one of these things I just sort of take for granted as I use it. Uh, kaolin soup. All right, right? No, that's Lazarus chowder. Okay, that's the good stuff. And we don't want to use too much because it'll spoil in his inventory. All right. There we go. So activate. Disable fertilizer collection. Oh, so he should collect the fertilizer. There you go. He should collect it and he should distribute it. So it might take a minute for him to do that. And then these guys should hell have seeds in them. So they should should just start producing uh, seedlings as soon as uh, he gets his act together and distributes it. So let's just wait a minute and see if he does that. And we'll be right back. All right, we're back when we figured out the S plus stuff. So our collector, come on, is our collector's working just fine. He's picking up all the poop and he is distributing it to our dung beetles over there. And he's also collected so far, I should have put him in a slightly different spot. 19 oil from those dung beetles. Pretty good. This dude is also working. He has collected all the fertilizer and distributed it, but he's only sending it to S plus crop plots. It's not going into any of the, so when I built this place, I built it with the vanilla crop plot. So it's not doing that, um, but that's okay. He's still, he's still providing a good function and we're just gonna have to distribute it manually. And the reason why there's no fertilizer in there right now is because it's putting it all into this one crop plot over here so we're just gonna have to manually put some fertilizer in these guys I'm not sure if I'm gonna bother I think maybe if I wasn't so lazy I would change all these into S plus crop plots but easy enough to move fertilizer around otherwise so I hope you enjoyed it uh, this video I hope you found it slightly entertaining and mostly informative <laughs> if you have please uh, give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel